Welcome to collegesoccernews.com. I'm Adam Zundel, joined today by Fabian Herbers of the number one ranked Creighton Blue Jays. Fabian, thanks for being with us today. Yeah, no worries. Well, tell me a little bit about this 14-0 and start. Uh, you know, a lot has been working for you guys, obviously, to have those 14 victories, but if you could pinpoint one thing, uh, what would that be? Uh, I think overall we have a very good team chemistry. We uh, we combine very well. We understand each other on and off the field, and uh, that's that's the key thing I think so far. Like we even even though we we sometimes had a couple of rough games where we want to go down, we never gave gave up and showed the moral at the end of the game, and uh, it was a very important part of uh, of our good start so far. How does that? chemistry come about? Is it something that just kind of happens naturally, or did you guys do some things that really, to, to really work on that and improve that aspect of the team? Uh, I think there are a lot of factors. I mean, it obviously it depends uh, on who you have on the team. If you have, like, people that think individually or want to, uh, or they want the team to do best. But I think overall, like, uh, with the coaches, with our captain, and with the uh, with the, with the people that are in the team, we're all working very hard to, to make the team uh, succeed, and uh, that has helped us uh, so far in the season, and I think you can, you can see that in our record now. One of the things that stands out is that you've played 14 games and you have 14 decisions, and obviously those are all victories. Um, tell me a little bit about the mentality to come away with wins when you're probably facing teams that would be very happy with the draw. What does it what is that extra little bit to go and try and get a decision? Um, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think yeah, our mental part is very important. Like, we're all, like, winners. Like, we we try to control the game. We try to control uh, the opponent. And uh, try to have a lot of possession during the game. And so, so as I said, we have a lot of control in that game. And... Uh, as we do so, we try to score early and uh, get a couple of goals going early in the game, and uh, so so we have the lead uh, right right ahead in the game. And um, yeah, the thing is, there were a couple of rough games as I said earlier. Like it always happens that you you are go down or something, but uh, but we have a real strong mentality and uh, we have the winners mentality. Like we want to win every game, like uh, as bad as something else, and uh, so that's very good for us, and that has helped us so far. Have you guys felt any pressure about being ranked number one and being undefeated and untied? Have you guys felt that at all, or is it just just something you guys don't even really pay much attention to? Uh, I mean, obviously, you know that you're number one, and uh, you always feel that a little bit, and the hard part about it is that, uh, that every team that that try to play you, they always want to beat the number one team. They know that we're number one as well, and they, they give even 10% more effort in, every, uh, in, in the game that they play us than, than if they might play somebody else that is not uh, not ranked number one. And that, that's sometimes a little bit hard, but, uh, but uh, we, we just got to stay focused, and, and ourselves have to give uh, 10% more as well in every game. And uh, with our talent and with our um, mentality, Managed uh, to win those games, uh, so I wouldn't say there's any pressure, but it's it's uh, it's uh, it's kind of more difficult because every every opponent wants to be the number one ranked team. It's often said that you learn a lot more lessons in a loss than in a win. However, you guys have not had that loss, but at the same time, what are you taking away from match by match that's really helping you kind of grow as a team? Um. Yeah, obviously, like you, yeah, you learn by both results. Like even if you, uh, yeah, if you, if you win or if you lose, like you, you learn from both. Like we, we, we have video, video analysis after each game, and we see what we did wrong and what we did right, and we try to eliminate those mistakes and uh, try to keep it up for the next next couple of games always. So, yeah. The college soccer system is is always under kind of siege. But tell me a little bit about your decision to come. Uh, to the United States and play. What was appealing and alluring to you about this opportunity? Uh, for me, uh, like going back, like two and a half years from now, uh, I was I was 
I was trying to be able to go to university and trying to play soccer on a high level as well. And uh, back in Germany, where I'm from, uh, I couldn't I couldn't manage to do it because you play club soccer or you go to a, like university that doesn't have like college sports like in American systems. So I heard of the opportunity of going abroad to America and uh, combine both playing soccer and, and, and get your degree. And um, so I decided to come to come uh, to Creighton in, uh, in Omaha since they have a good, good soccer program and uh, a good academic school as well. Um, so my experience is uh, that the soccer itself is a little bit more uh, more physical here. Uh, athletes go to the weight room uh, three or four times a week. They they are they're very athletic. They try to get fat and strong. Whereas in uh, in Europe it's more like uh, tactical and technical. Like we try to play where like we try to have every session with the ball and uh, well, back in the days we tried to have every session with the ball and. Um, Try to get a better touch and a better understanding of the game, really. Last year, 10 goals, 8 assists. This year already with 11 goals and 7 assists. But if you could, kind of give us a scouting report on yourself midway through this season. Uh, yeah, I think I've been going well so far. I mean, uh, we have a good team. And, uh, and uh, like, it's not only me scoring. We have, we have a lot of other guys uh, scoring and giving a couple of assists. And... If you win, uh, if you beat, like in the beginning, we won uh, games uh, 2 0, 3 0, 4 0, 4 0 and, uh, and then, yeah, it's, it's not easy, but, uh, but it's, yeah, it's kind of easy to manage to score when, when you have such a good team. And as a forward, that's your, that's your job, and that's what I'm trying to do. And it has, it has been successful uh, this season so far, and I'm happy about that. If you were taking on yourself as the opposing coach, what kinds of things, and we won't give away too many secrets here, but you know, what kinds of things are you looking to do that the other coach needs to try and stop? Can you repeat the question, please? And then we'll get back. Sure. If you were the other team's coach and you're coming against Creighton and trying to slow you down, what kinds of things um, would you try to take away to, to make you less successful? Uh, uh, it's hard to say since I'm, uh, since I'm not a coach, I'm, I'm a soccer player. But I've, I've experienced that uh, teams that are uh, that sit very deep against us sometimes have a hard time to get through. I mean, we, we got through, uh, through them eventually and managed to score, sometimes early, sometimes late in the game. But, uh, yeah, just being physical, being being very organized defensively can, can give us a hard time as uh an opponent, but uh, but I think uh, we've yeah we've 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 played uh, a lot of opponents so far with different strategies going into the game. I think we have a lot of talent, so I think in the end of the day we can beat everything down. So it's very hard for foreign coaches. Okay, um, tell me a little bit about that atmosphere out in Omaha. You guys have 10 home matches, obviously, unbeaten in all of them, outscoring opponents 21-3 to three or something like that. Um, how important is that home field advantage, not just now, but also when the postseason comes around? Uh, it's really huge. Uh, it's, it's very important for us. Uh, we love the Omaha community. Although, although the, like, Omaha, Nebraska is somewhere in, in, in the nowhere, I would say, but... Uh, <laughs> The community is really strong. They're really interested in, in our soccer program. We have uh, we have had uh, games where there were six thousand, seven thousand people at the games, and there are like three to four thousand on average. And having those that atmosphere with all the students coming out as well is very huge for us. Uh, also, the fact that you don't have to travel that much during the week and uh, on the weekends can be a huge factor for postseason as well because. Uh, you always feel a little bit of fatigue when you when you're away because of the flight and the bus drive sometimes, and uh, when you don't have that, it's, it's a big advantage. It's, as far as it's, it's a big advantage to stay home. All right, and lastly, tell me a little bit about your relationship with your head coach. Also, uh, you know, a, a, a German native and, and his influence on you as a person and as a player. Uh. Uh, he, was, he was basically the main reason for me to come to Creighton. Uh, back in Germany, two and a half years ago, he gave me a call and 
told me everything about Creighton, and he, he made me really feel comfortable and uh, familiar with the system and familiar coming to Creighton. Because it was a huge step for me uh, coming from, from Germany all the way across the sea to, to America. And that has helped uh, very much. And along the way, those, those two and a half years have been very great. Uh, we have a very strong uh, relationship, not only because we're, we're both uh, German, but uh, it's helped me a lot on and off the field, uh, dealing with my mental part, where I struggled a little bit in the beginning, my freshman year. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's been a very good manager, mentor, and uh, it's a, it's a very, very close relationship on and off the field. How tough is it for your parents to keep up with you? Are they up in the middle of the night uh, watching games online? Yes, they actually do. Um, uh, it's, it's, I think it's 2 a.m. in the morning when we play at 7 uh, in Omaha. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, it's, it's, it's rough for them sometimes to get up, uh, but obviously they want to they wanna watch their son play, and they're very proud of me, and uh, they're very excited to, to see me play every time. And my dad gives me advice, too, uh, what I can do better, and that, that helps me as well. So, uh so it's a win-win situation, I guess. Although it's, although it's a bad time for them. Yeah, dad, dad's giving you, Gavin, dad's giving you scouting reports and breakdowns all the way uh, watching games online. That's pretty. That's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, always after the games, he, uh, we always talk uh, a little bit after the games. Uh, like he sometimes calls me, or I call him, and uh, yeah, he's he's always been watching me since I grew up. Like when I. When I it doesn't matter if I was four years old, to 15, or, or now, now 22. Uh, he's always been watching me, and he was always excited about watching me. And uh, he knows me the best, to be honest. And uh, and um, and he knows what, what's best for me, and he wants the best for me. And uh, I'm I'm always happy to hear his advice, and uh, it's, that 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 has helped me so far as well. <laughs> Have they made it out to Omaha yet, or are they they planning one maybe for your uh, senior year if you're still there? Uh, they they made it uh, last season. Last season, in the middle of the season, they uh, uh, early September, middle of September, they came out and um, and visited me actually, and uh, they were here for like ten days before they were in New York to see the New York City a little bit. It was the first time being being uh, being in America for them, so it was very exciting for them, and they were happy to see Omaha and and, and Creighton University and see me playing, obviously. All right, good stuff, Fabian. Thanks so much for being with us. Uh, appreciate it. Best of luck the rest of the way. All right, thank you so much.